Hey kids, hey kids, I'm Nick. I woke up this morning and I had this idea. I wanted to build a stealthy blacked out PC with a few little white accents. So that's exactly what I did today. Here it is, and if you wanna see how it came together, stick around. As usual with these build specific videos on the channel, we build with parts that we've got in our inventory and we put them together to inspire you guys to build beautiful PCs of your own. So that's exactly what I did. In my eyes, this is the most beautiful PC ever. So let's see how it came together. It's build time. Let's do it.
All right, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this PC build. This is one of my favorite PCs that we've ever built for the channel. Now, I'm not gonna benchmark this system or do anything like that because I just wanted to put something together today to kind of, uh, let's be honest, relax myself. I find it really, really relaxing to build PCs. It's like therapy for me, so that's why I put this together. There's no real rhyme or reason for it coming together other than I'm feeling a bit anxious today, so I, I use this as a bit of therapy. And I like to be honest with you guys because, you know, after all, I am human. So, yeah, so that's that's the truth behind the PC. I wanted to put together something that I, I had in my mind to really help relieve stress. And that's kind of the thing with PC building that a lot of people don't understand, that if you've been doing it for such a long time, it's like this autonomous thing where you just pull out a screwdriver, get some parts, put it together, and yeah, it helps me like relax and think of the next thing that I've gotta do. So yeah, that's that's the reality of this PC, but it wouldn't be a build video without me talking about the parts, so let's uh, quickly chat about those. The CPU that I went for is the Intel i9-10900K. I basically picked it because it went with this board because we we're going for this whole stealth mode look. That being said, the motherboard is the MSI Z490 Unify. Again, the reason why I chose it because it's got zero RGB. To cool the 10900K, I went with the brand new Deepcool AS500. I actually added a second 140 mil fan because it usually only ships with the front one, but for, I had another deep cool fan from the Assassin 3, so I just clipped it on the back just for a bit of extra cooling. Although this is basically just like a showcase PC. There's, it's not like uh, gonna be benchmarked or anything like that, but I did want to complete the look, so that's why I went with that. It's also got like a little white RGB strip on it that I actually set to white. It's full like addressable RGB, but again, for that stealth mode look, I wanted to have white. And the only reason why I ended up going white on the cooler was, uh, I forgot that the 3090 was had white lighting. And the last time I used this RAM, I set the hardware lighting to white as well. So it actually kind of just fit to make all the little tiny accents white, as well as the little screen on the bottom of the motherboard, like the postcode LED screen, that's also white. So yeah, that just really completed the look. And yeah, I just, I kind of, I, I, I really like how this thing looks. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. For fans, I actually used three Deepcool fans from a Deepcool AIO that we've got. And I just like them because they're very, very quiet. And I wanted this thing to be like this quiet PC. Although this thing is obviously not gonna live probably longer than today. I did want to see how quiet we could make it. And that being said, the top fans are the new Thermaltake non-RGB fans. They're really designed for radiators and cooling. And I wanted to use them because again, they're quiet and there's no RGB. And the RAM that we used is Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB at 3000 megahertz it's 32 gigs it's a 32 gig kit i'll put a pc part picker list down below in the description so you guys can see all the parts that we use for this pc the other reason why i wanted to build a pc like this and the reason why the studio looks like this today is because we used to shoot stuff on our old channel kind of with this like dark backdrop and we wanted to play around with it again today and that's why i wanted to build a pc like this because uh it may look pretty straightforward but it is quite difficult to light. We used uh, a little bit of a different lighting technique than we would usually use in the studio. And basically this PC exists to look good. And there's, there's no other reason for it. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it ladies and gents. There was a really no rhyme or reason to the choice in parts other than them being uh, really low key. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this different build video and I wanted to just share some thoughts with you guys as well because sometimes I like to let you guys know what's going on in my head and where we're at with the channel. And yeah, we just wanted to try something a little bit different today. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. It's available over on our Patreon. You probably noticed a new song. We've got a whole stack of new music that I've been working on. You probably noticed last week that we didn't upload as much just because I was working on a whole bunch of new music and a whole bunch of other gear seeker -y stuff. So yeah. That's basically it. Uh, if you want to get early access to videos like this one, it's available over on our float plane. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And I'm going to level with you guys. This is my favorite PC that I've ever built on the channel. Oh, hands, really? hands down. Hands down. Yep. 
I love it. I think it looks so so cool. Like it's so understated. It looks so cool. And the other thing I wanted to share with you guys as well is I tried to vertically mount this GPU as well, just for like complete, just to make the 3090 look crazy basically. But the reality is you can't vertically mount it with this cooler. It's just, it's probably like three mil too big to vertically mount it with a vertical mounting bracket. We got close, but in another case, I think I could probably make it fit and probably obviously with a different cooler, but yeah, I'm done. I, I need, I need sleep. I slept like 12 hours last night, but I'm still tired. I overslept. Sleep some more. I want to sleep some more. Yep. Thanks for watching guys. And I appreciate you all very much. Thank you.